macroeconomics studies big picture things that affect uh, an entire economy, things like inflation, unemployment, the business cycle. Uh, the joke that economists have is that contrasts microeconomics with mac macroeconomics is that microeconomists are the economists who are wrong about little things and macroeconomists are wrong about big things. Macroeconomics has two big uh, topics that it looks at. One of those issues, one of those topics is long-run growth. So if you compare the standard of living of people in Spain now compared to 100 years ago, 200 years ago, even 50 years ago, standard of living has risen over that time period. Hopefully it will continue to rise so that 100 years from now, 200 years from now, even 50 years from now, the standard of living will be still higher than it is now. So what is the cause of that long-run growth? How can we continue that uh, forward progress? That's one of the big questions in macroeconomics. The other focal point in macroeconomics is about short-run stability and the business cycle and uh, booms and busts and how do you smooth out the business cycle. So Spain is currently in the middle of a terrible economic situation. It's roughly similar. The, the, the best analogy is the Great Depression in the 1930s. And uh, there are questions about, well, why did it happen and what can we do uh, to get out of it? What can we do to avoid getting in a situation like that again? The good news about the downturn that we're in now is that it will almost certainly end. The storm will almost certainly end and we'll go back to the long run growth that we've seen over the last hundreds of years. So nobody thinks that, that the crisis is going to be solved tomorrow. It's going to be hopefully, a, a, the best that we can hope for I think is a slow and gradual recovery uh, from the crisis that we're in now. I think one of the other big stories of this century is going to be about dealing with the environmental impacts of having 7 billion, 10 billion people on the planet who are all trying to live like Americans, trying to live like Europeans, and what's going to happen with the environmental impacts of that, especially in terms of issues like climate change. So those are areas where economists have a lot of things that they can contribute to the discussion and it's part of what makes macroeconomics a fascinating area and I hope that you enjoy the cartoon books.